Welcome to ChiefTutor.com, training videos in Chief Architect. The question I get all the time, roofs, 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 how to build a roof, whether it's manually building it, automatically building, generating it uh, correctly. Uh, you can use the baseline polylines to set up to build it. I mean, there's so many ways to build a roof. Um, what is the best way? You know, honestly, the quickest way. Uh, it sounds silly, but if you can auto-generate the roof to be the way you need it, that's basically the best thing to do. In this particular case, I saw this posting where a man was having trouble um, putting this these roofs on. So I decided to build a very similar model and show you how I can auto-generate the roofs to look just like this. So let's take note. On the second floor, it looks like there's a hip roof all the way around. And then on the first floor, there seems to be a hip roof. And then in this porch area that's raised up, there's a gable and another gable coming off this second floor. So here's my model that I have. There's the garage, there's the porch, and we are on the first floor. Uh, if I go up to the second floor, here's the second floor layout. I haven't done any rooms, obviously. I'm just doing the model for the build to the roof, obviously. So let's go down. Let's take a look in 3D. That better explains it. And there it is. There's my model. And you'll see that I have the typical garage area, some windows here. Uh, this is where the front door would be. Let's go ahead and put a front door in there, shall we? Double click it, make it a five foot double door. Okay. Now, let's center this up, make it look good, and get started on this. Again, this is where the gable was. There was another gable roof here, and then the rest was hip roof, like around the main body of the house and around the garage. So that's what we're trying to accomplish. So in order to do that, there's a couple of ways we can do it. The first easiest thing to do is we can go to our roof tabs, click on roof, click here, build roof planes, click OK, and it'll generate roof planes all over the house. And now we can take a look. And wow, look, it's pretty close to almost what we need, except for this needs to be gable and this needs to be gable. And then this is doing something a little bit different. You can see this hip roof's coming around a little differently than uh, maybe we want to show it. So I'm going to go back to the plan view here, and I'm going to go to delete roof planes. And before I generate a new set of roof planes, because I'll get the exact same effect, obviously, I'm going to go upstairs, select this wall, open it up, and go to its roofs tab, and tell it to be a full gable wall. Then I'm going to go downstairs, and I want this wall, the front of the porch, to also be a full gable wall. So I'll check it. And then I'm going to make this wall and shift, holding down shift, selecting this wall. So these two walls, I'm going to open them up and also make them a full gable wall. That way it'll hip around here, but it'll gable up, and it'll gable up there. Now let's generate our roof, shall we? Build roof, build roof planes, click OK, and let's take a look. And pretty quickly, we made what we needed to make. Now we see an error right away with this wall generating over this wall, and not quite sure why. Well, the reason is, is because of this wall here, this generates an automatic wall underneath this roof eave. So we need to make sure that we can pull this roof over enough to where this wall won't generate this automatic wall, but not too far as to, de to delete the inner wall of our porch there. But we can see for the rest of the most of the part, we're set. I mean, this is building it just kind of what we need to do. Now, I might want to lower this pitch, too, so I can clear my windows, but I'm not, not really worried about that. Let me show you how to fix the major er issue, which is right there. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select that lower roof plane. That's the lower roof plane that it's drawn. And I'm going to drag it away from the stucco wall of the porch. Then I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to use my cut tool. You can also use 3 on the keyboard. I'm going to click on 3 on the keyboard, and I'm going to snap it right there. And then I'm going to bring this roof edge out like so. Now see, this roof has gone past this wall of the garage, but I've cut around the porch wall. It's not exact, so we might see a little 
<coughs> excuse me, we might see a little bit of discrepancy right at the corner because Chief always does funny little things at the corner. But for the most part, the main portion of it's correct. And now it's not doing that little wall generating tool. <coughs> excuse me. So here we can see that simply by using automatic generation tool, I was able to accomplish this entire roof, just like the picture. In fact, the picture even had these two roofs as, um, I believe, boxed eaves. So I'm going to quickly go into the option tabs with those two roofs selected and select boxed eave. And do it again to this too as well. Holding down shift, select both of them, open them up, click box eaves. And we get those little nice little box eaves in the corner, just like the picture. Also notice there was one other error. It looked like, well, it was not an error. Actually, Chief was smart to do this. Put a little cricket uh, roof there so the water will run off and run the direct way. Now, if you wanted to just have the roof go straight back, you could take in this little one, delete it. And again, we could stretch this over to here. And I could bring this one just outside the stucco there so everything will generate correctly. And there, looks nice and pretty. There we go. Let's see if we can split screen this bad boy with our picture. Zoom in way out. Zoom in way in. There we go. <clears throat> and that's been Messing with Roofs here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you learned something new. And this is on Automatic Roof Gen. If you want to find out other ways to do roofs, uh, check out our other roof videos on how to use the roof baseline polyline and also manually draw the roof. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.